kind of and these images are these all galaxies that these are all galaxies most of the stuff you see are galaxies this image might look like just another patch of space but in the world of astronomy this is a big deal it's the largest image the hubble space telescope has ever and likely will ever take at 1.5 degrees squared it's about six times the size of the moon as seen from the earth which might not seem like such a big deal but um hubble space telescope actually has a very small field of view so it can take image of a very small part of the sky at a time, which works great for many of the purposes, but not so great if you are someone who studies rare objects of the universe. Lamia Mola is a fellow at the University of Toronto's Dunlop Institute of Astronomy and Physics and lead author on the project dubbed 3D DASH, DASH being an acronym for Drift and Shift. The team created the survey by stitching together multiple photos similar to using a panorama feature on a smartphone. It's a near-infrared image, meaning it's showing objects undetectable to the naked eye, like massive galaxies far, far away. Uh, some of us study, for example, the most massive galaxies of the universe in the last 10 billion years because so, we want to know how did um, all these galaxies, how they formed. So in order to do that, we had to take a large um, image of the sky in order to find this very rare object. The image now sets the stage for the next few years, providing a wealth of targets for scientists around the world to investigate further. And NASA's powerful next generation James Webb Telescope, which which launched late last year, will be able to zero in on these targets to take more powerful, higher resolution images. In the meantime, for us regular space nerds, there's an interactive version of the 3D Dash image available online, so you'll be able to browse distant galaxies and nearer stars at your leisure. You can sort of see the swirls. Yeah, yeah, you can sort of see the swirls and it's actually really far away. So, you know, that's the resolution of Hubble. But before wrapping up our interview, I had to ask Lamia the ultimate question. Let me ask you, Lamia, all these galaxies that we're seeing in front of us, do you think there's life there? And we have, you know, a few trillion galaxies like the Milky Way in the universe that we know of. If you multiply all these numbers, you'll see that there are many, 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 many planets out there. And it's very likely that some of these uh, planets harbor life. For a link to the interactive Hubble telescope image, head to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. For City News, I'm Erica Natividad.